Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Madhurima here and today for a change I have an art journal page to share with you all. So let's begin. I have already prepped my page with clear gesso. With a text stamp and embossing ink I am very randomly stamping here and there across the page. Next, I will add a white embossing powder and heat set everything. To add colors, I am using chroma bursts which are pigment ink powders that get activated in the presence of any aqueous medium. I am using the teacup teal, silk magenta and terranium olive moss colors. Now very slowly, layer by layer, I will be building up the colors. This process will take a bit of time. So be very patient while you are applying the colors to the page. Once the colors are dried, the intensity reduces a great deal, so it is necessary to apply a few layers to brighten them up a bit. Once everything is thoroughly dried, I will use this damask stencil and with a stencil brush, I will apply the distress microglaze in few places, mainly focusing on the central part of the page. This microglaze works as an organic coat, so will resist the aqueous paints we will add next. Next, I am spraying very light handedly with the Acacia Dream metallic spray and will again dry everything quite well. Next, using the same, same stencil, I will go in now with a brown distress ink and will also add shadows to the borders of the page. Next, 
next i will use the archival black ink to further intensify the border This will give a nice and crisp border along the edges. Now I am adding a bit of random stamping using the same archival black ink. Next up, I am using the white gesso to add some splatters to the page. Once everything is thoroughly dried, I will apply a coat of the micro glaze to the page so that the pigment inks are sealed and they don't react with the colors I'm going to add on top. Now to add the white space to the page I will add a bit of white gesso and blend it seamlessly with the page Once again with the uh, with the same stencil I will add a bit of stenciling using the brown distress ink For the composition, I will be using a few die cuts, a couple of chipboard from the leaf 4 set from Expressions Craft and a few skeleton leaves. I will be coloring the skeleton leaves with the raw olivine metallic spray to give them a very beautiful moss green color. This is how the leaves look once dried. I want to keep the chipboards white so we will cover it up with white gesso only. And for the foliage die cuts, I will be using the Acacia Dream Metallic Spray and will then sprinkle a bit of the Silk Magenta Chroma Burst. Finally, it's time to build the composition. 
here I have tried to keep the composition very minimal as I don't want to add bulk to this journal book. I will be using this pretty little girl as my main focal point. Here I am adding a few stars. Here I am adding a few stars and will add colors to the stars using the same silk magenta chroma burst. I am also adding a quote to this page which says she was a strange little girl expecting kindness. I love how quirky this sentiment is and according to me it is going quite well with the page. Now to add the final touches, I will use the Gamma Black Chroma Burst and will add a few splatters here and there. And this is how the page looks close up. Hope you all enjoyed creating today's page along with me. See you all soon with yet another tutorial. Till then, bye and take care.